I find it pretty amazing that even in our globalised, interconnected world, whenever you go to another country, you're still bound to find things you've never seen before. This experience is obviously going to be completely different for each person. So here's my list of seven things that made me go... Or... What? When I saw them here in Germany for the very first time. First up, an odd-looking vegetable that's a staple in both Kashmiri and German cooking. The kohlrabi. Its name comes from the words for cabbage and turnip, but it actually belongs to the cabbage family. So, how do you eat a kohlrabi in Germany? Als Beilage zu Kartoffeln. Gedünstet, mit Soße. Oh. Als Auflauf, Salat. Mir schmeckt's jedenfalls. The first time I did this to a window in Germany, I thought I'd broken it. The Kippfenster, or tilt window, is standard here in Germany. Turn the handle like this and it opens completely. But turn the handle all the way and the window or door will tilt inwards. This practical double-hinged window style seems to have originated here in Germany and it's now spread to many other countries. Tourists in London often get excited about a trip on a red double-decker bus. But for me, it's all about the double-decker train. In fact, these kind of double-decker trains can be found in many countries all over the world. But I first set my eyes on one in Germany, and the novelty still hasn't worn off. Something, or rather someone, that I had never seen before I came to Germany, a gynaecologist. That's not out of the ordinary in the UK, but here in Germany women tend to go at least once a year for a full checkup at their Frauenarzt or women doctor. It took me a while to pluck up the courage, but don't worry, it's really no big deal. Twice a year, the Germans take their cars to the garage and change their tyres from winter to summer and back again. I'd never actually heard of the concept of winter tyres before, and to be honest, it seemed a tad over the top. I mean, yeah, sure, it can snow here, but it's not Canada. So what exactly are the rules? Under 7 Grad sollte man Winterreifen fahren. Deswegen gibt's auch die O-Regel von Oktober bis Ostern. Sollte man die Winterreifen aufschnallen. Diese ganzen eingeschnittenen Lamellen hier. Die brauchen natürlich der Winterreifen. Ne? Da muss ich ja irgendwo reinkrallen, ganz klar in den, in, in den Schnee rein. Das braucht ja der Sommerreifen nicht. Next up, this sign. Men urinate standing up, right? Not necessarily. Many men in Germany prefer to take a seat, at least in their own home. It's such an important cultural habit that its proponents have a specific name, Sitzpinkler, or sitting peer. This method means no mess from splashback or poor aim, and one study even suggested it can have health benefits too. Sometimes you don't realise that something's missing in your life until it comes along. A good example of that is ice cream that looks like spaghetti bolognese. Spaghetti ice is a hot favourite in Germany's ice cream cafes. It was invented in Mannheim 50 years ago by pushing vanilla ice cream through a pasta making contraption. Then there's strawberry puree for the tomato sauce and grated white chocolate for the parmesan cheese. So which of these things were new for you? And don't forget to leave a comment if you've got any other examples. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm about to get culturally integrated with a bowl of spaghetti ice cream. 